wash away my brokenness, heal my wounded soul. Oh Lord, the guardian of my heart, who rules the day and night, you guide me through my darkest hours. And lead me into light. Welcome to the noon mass. Today is a memorial of Saint Kateri Tekawitha, virgin. And uh, the entrance hymn is The Call is Clear and Simple. You can find it in the Blue Gather Book, number 707. 707. Please stand. call is clear and simple love God and humankind but love demands much wisdom and clarity of mind be wily as a serpent though gentle as a dove for many are the dangers upon the path of love. God help us sort our motives that loving may be whole. High aims are base ambition, compassion or control. Then help us clear our schedules of every frantic task that leads away from doing the one thing that you ask. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Well, Friday, you know, day in which we honored uh, the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, his passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, and it is through the devotion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You know, as Jesus died on the cross because he loved us so much. And the Sacred Heart is what tells us today and many people in, in, in the devotion to Christ and embracing Christianity have given their lives, both as a martyrs, but also little by little in the whole life. And that is the case of today's, uh, today's celebration. Saint uh, Kateri Tekakwitha. You know, Kateri is for Catherine and uh, Tekakwitha. And let me, let me read a little bit about uh, a little bio here in the Magnificat. It says that Kateri Tekakwitha was born around 1656 in the Mahawak village of Osernon, now Arsville, New York. She lost her parents and brother in a smallpox epidemic at the age of four. From her youth, she envisaged an interior innocence, refusing her relatives' attempts to arrange a marriage. 
she embraced the faith at the age of 20 and entered the Jesuit mission at Salt St. Louis, near Montreal. There, Catherine devoted herself to good works and to praying for her fellow Mohawks. At the age of 23, she made a public vow of perpetual virginity. Catherine died of illness in 1680. Fifteen minutes after her death, her face, pockmarked with smallpox scars, grew clear and luminous. Well, you know, embracing the faith until the end. Beautiful testimony. And of course, an invitation for us to follow after her example. So let us give thanks to the Lord for so many people who have, teach us, have, teach us, have taught us their faith and inviting us to follow Christ until the end. And as we prepare to celebrate this Mass, we also recognize our sins with humility, with sincerity, in front of God, and ask God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I had failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who desired that Virgin Blessed Catherine de Caquita to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. Their God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called Jacob, Jacob. He answered, here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock in the possession they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, at last I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The, the salvation, salvation of the just, of the just comes, comes from, the from the Lord. 
Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land, be, and you, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's request. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the, the just comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of, fam of famine, they have plenty. The salvation, the salvation of, of the, the Lord just comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the, the just, just comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The, the salvation, salvation of the, the just, just comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. spirit of the truth comes he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you Alleluia Alleluia The Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be sure as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and escort you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father is speaking through you. Brother will hand, will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you. You will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. On a certain occasion, Jesus said to the crowds, nobody knows the Son except the Father, and nobody knows the Father except the Son, and the one whom the Son wants to reveal to him or to her. You know, so every, everything that Jesus is doing is a revelation of the Father, because he wants to reveal the Father to us. One, day, one of these days, Tom, Thomas asked Jesus, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus said, Thomas, for so long time I have been with you, and you do not know me yet. You know, the, the, Jesus, the, the great desire of Jesus is to show us the Father. 
and to show us the Father through the person of Jesus Christ. So Jesus is the image of the God, of the, is, the, is the visible image of the God, of the invisible God. So who is this God that Jesus is trying to reveal to us, I mean, striving that we may be able to, to grasp, to grasp the, the true God, not that the God that somebody taught us and there is the God that, who punishes us, who is always looking at bad things we do. What, what is the true God that Jesus is revealing, revealing to us? As Jesus chose his disciples, we, we heard a couple of days, he chose us by name. He called them by name. And then he sent them to preach the people, say the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is what God is. In other words, where the, the, the person of Jesus is made present through other people as well. You know, so Jesus comes through other people. And this is, it's God who is very close to us. It's not a God of a, far away. He's very close to us. And, and, and today's first reading for me is it's a wonderful, powerful reading. You know, every time that I meditate on these kind of readings, relationship, father and son, I mean, touch my heart because I lost my father when I was six. So all these uh, passages speaking father, son, embracing, you know, this uh, Joseph embracing his father Israel or Jacob and for a long time. Well, it's like a, it's a longing in my heart too, you know, it's something in my heart. And at the very end is our desire to embrace God. At the very bottom is our desire of, for God. You know, and uh, well, let's see the first reading. You know, all this story, we have been reading in the first reading from the book of Genesis, the story of the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and now Joseph. You know, and, uh, and today is the, like the end of, uh, of Jacob or Israel. He has two names. His name was Jacob, and God changed it for Israel. <clears throat> okay. In a night vision, Jacob or Israel heard the voice of God saying, Jacob, Jacob, and renewing the promises, I will give you land. But what I would like to focus on God pronouncing Jacob's name twice. Jacob, Jacob. You know, it's a very close God. You know, a, a, a God that knows us by name. He knows us very well. You know, this is the, the, the God Jesus is trying to reveal to us. God is very close to us. He's not far away. Even though we cannot see him, even, even though we, we don't touch God, but the revelation in Christ tells us that who is this God? Very close to us, pronouncing our names. God knows us by name. And he's not afraid of who we are. You know, God is not as afraid. He, he, he does not reject us because we are not the, the person we think we, we should be. You know, God is always close to us. Jacob, Jacob, and renewing this promise, what God promised to Abraham. You will be in Egypt, and you will be a great nation over there. And I will bring you back to your land, to the promised land. You know, but uh, but uh, my emphasis is this. You know, God's so close to us. Uh, for, for us, it's very difficult to understand this. How come this powerful creator of God who lives for eternity uh, is, is that close to us? But Jesus continually tells us it is the reality. This is God. I mean, should we, should we be afraid of something? Of course not. Jesus is telling his disciples, you will, be, you will be persecuted because of my name. Somebody will put you to death thinking that they will do good things. But persevere until the end. And you, will be, you will be able to persevere only if you experience the closeness, the very... Uh, nearness of the true God. God is with us, and that gives us the strength that we need to persevere until the end. The one who perseveres until the end will be saved, Jesus says in the gospel. Persevering is important. Persevering. And we will be, uh, we will be able to do, to do that <coughs> if we encounter this God, the God that Jesus is showing us, making present for us. And I, and I would like to, yes, a kind of parenthesis to, to say something about, uh, you know, uh, the, the parents who have lost a child. You know, uh, Jacob of Israel thought that Joseph had, had died because it's what uh, Joseph's brother told him. 
you know, the, 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 a beast devoured Joseph. Of course, they sold him uh, because they wanted to kill him, but uh, they decided to sell him instead of um, killing him. So Jacob thought that Joseph was dead. But uh, and, and, and when he meets, he knows that he's alive, you know, all that, that was in the back of his, of his head came back again, came back. You know, when somebody lost, lost a, a child, uh, it's, a, it's a great pain. You know, it's a great pain. It's against nature, losing a child, you know, a son or daughter. Support, I mean, parents supposed to die first, right? But there is, you know, my mom lost two of her, of her children. One was three months old, and the other one was three years old. And, uh, and, and always uh, when we speak about, not many times, because she, don't, she doesn't like to speak ma- much about this, but she says, you know, how much uh, uh, they suffered because they were sick. They suffered, and, and, and the pain she suffered because of, of, of the children. You know, her children, you know, losing a, a child, that must be very, very painful, difficult times sometimes for parents. And, uh, but uh, there is always hope, you know. As Joseph and, and Jacob have this embrace today. I believe one day I will have this hug for my dad. You know, when I die, and my last call, when the Lord calls me for the last time, Joel, Joel, come back to me. And I know I will embrace my father. I will hug my father. You know, my father will give me all the hugs he didn't give me when, when I, I was growing up. You know, this relationship, the, the importance of a family, right? Okay, so let us, let us two things. The first thing and my main point is, is God is so close to us. He knows us by name. He wants to be with us. He wants to continue leading us in our life, not to be afraid, but always listen to Jesus and strive to go, to go ahead. But also, but also recognize that uh, that uh, the importance of family. You know, Jacob left everything and went to Egypt, all his family, the importance of family. So let us continue striving to, to make our family a good family, at least what is on our part, to be patient, loving, service, pray, to be a uh, testimony to our families. Amen. Recognizing the merciful love of our Father, we turn to him in full confidence with our prayers and intentions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Holy Spirit continue leading and guiding them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For national and local leaders, may the Lord empower them in enacting laws that promote the dignity of human life and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the sick and suffering, especially those who have no other community or persons to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this faith community, may the Spirit of the Father speak through us in all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, may they rest in peace in the fullness of God's grace and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the special petitions that you hold in the silence of your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions of this Mass. In thanksgiving to the infant Jesus of Prague and for special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us continue to pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering because of the floods, but also those who are suffering because of these uh, heats. And may the Lord protect them, those who have lost their properties, their belongings in the, in the floods. May the Lord help them through people to recover their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Most merciful and loving God, hear our prayers and answer them in your compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You 
satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You give yourself to us, O Lord, then selfless let us be to serve each other in your name in truth and charity. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Praise you to some brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Catherine, we humbly implore your majesty that as her, mer her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to, exp to experience on this earth the gift you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim to death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Catherine and St. Luke, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as city is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Vitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We are the body of Christ, broken and poured out, promise of life from death. We are the body of Christ. Is not the bread of life we break a sharing in the life of God is not the cup of peace outpoured the blood of Christ we are the body of Christ broken and poured out promise of life from death we are the body of Christ. How shall we make a return to God for goodness unsurpassing? The saving cup we shall hold high and call out God's name. We are the body Christ, broken and poured out, promise of life from death. We are the body of Christ. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the earth, it shall remain a single grain but if it dies it will come to life we are the body of christ broken and poured out promise of life from death we are the body of Christ. Come taste and see the goodness, the wonders of the risen one. Come bless our God in all things. Let praise be our song. We are the body of Christ. Broken and poured out promise of life from death. We are the body of Christ. Saints of God abiding in the arms of mercy, pray for us. 
Saints of God abiding in the arms of mercy, pray for us. I saw the souls of the saints beneath the altar, slain for bearing witness to God's word. And each one was clothed in white. Saints of God abiding in the arms of mercy, pray for us. Renewed by partaking in this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of blessed Catherine, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Saint Michael. The Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits that prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Uh, you know that. The teenagers are in a retreat this weekend, right? So pray for them. It's about 40, like 45 teenagers in a retreat. So let us pray that may the Lord touch their heart, their lives. You know, they can renew the desire to, to live their faith. So let us continue praying for them. Sagrado Corazón de Jesús, en vos confío. En vos. The final song is again uh, number G. 707. <clears throat> the call is clear and simple, and we'll sing verses 3 and 4. The Blue Gather Book, number 707. Verse 3. God, teach us strength and wisdom when false love takes the lead. To well we learn submission and silence our own need when others would misuse us or lure us toward the wrong. Good temper, love, and courage to keep our boundaries strong. O oh, wise and holy lover, teach us as seasons turn to know ourselves and others, deep honest love to learn. So may we nurture living in all we say and do. In strong and gentle giving to humankind and you.